and well good evening Shima girls I pray all is well <laughs> everything is well right here in Shima here 21 as usual thank God to the glory always <laughs> well um let's get right into this video in the past I have spoken on hair haters um, before and now in the present right now I want to bring them back up because you know every single day I'm getting new Shima girls and also to to see how you ladies that have already been on your journey for a prolonged period of time are dealing with these haters. You know, let's tackle this issue again because I know a lot of us have experienced it or are experiencing it right now. So anyways, I was in one of my old um, hair haters video and I was reading the comments and man, as I was reading through those comments, I became very, very sad, you know, once more, you know, to to know how cruel and evil you know our own people can be to us you know and this is why it has inspired me to create this video again regarding here haters to re-inspire us ladies yet again you know we get people picking on shima girls just because you know they have protective styles on and you know that doesn't look normal to the quote unquote um so-called normal people <laughs> So um, I want to discuss all of that because I know that that can be definitely painful, definitely painful. Okay, and again, especially to the new Bishima girls who may not have watched all of my videos and they're probably dealing with a hater right now as we speak or a couple of haters and, you know, they're picking on your protective style and they're trying their best to, you know, kill your spirit, you know, so that you will give up and eventually become one of them okay I mean some of the stories Yushima girls have have shared with me is just out of this world regarding the hair haters you know it's just simply unbelievable you know for example one of the Shima girls posted that her own sister tried to ruin her hair I mean her hair regimen by <laughs> putting itching all into one of her hair products Okay, now thankfully that bottle had fallen on the sink and I guess the itching oil spilled out. She smelled the itching oil and you know and, and that's how she found out there was itching oil in her in her hair bottle. And even after all that, her sister was still trying to convince her into cutting her hair. I mean, even in our own family. Haters in our own family, go figure. I mean, unbelievable, like I'm telling you. Because when our hair reaches, as I've been t t telling you over and over, when our hair reaches um, past shoulder length, okay, it becomes unnatural in the eyes of society, okay? So that is why when we ask for a trim, our hair gets cut 10 times shorter than that trim. <laughs> because anything that's longer than shoulder length on a black woman is unnatural in the eyes of society, okay? And it's sad, but it's the truth, and it's real life, okay? And that's why we got to, you know, address this. Every now and then we got to address this so we can build our self-esteem back up and, and, you know, and keep moving forward, keep moving forward. And then we have another Shima girl who, who is definitely, I mean, who is totally committed to her protective styles. And she also experienced a painful situation in which she was told by her so-called friend that, hey, if you want to hang out with me, you need to do your hair. You know, stuff like that. You know, to, to get her off of her path to success. Because, the, fortunately, that so-called friend doesn't know a thing about proper black hair growth techniques. So she's not going to understand that protective styles is to help black hair grow longer. Remember, protective styles do not make the hair grow. What protective styles do, they help us to retain hair length. You know, they help us retain hair length by minimizing the hair dryness and hair breakage. Okay? Also remember the definition of a protective style. A protective style is any style that keeps the ends of our hair hidden away and moisturized for a prolonged period of time. Okay? And the prolonged period of time to me is at least two months minimum. Okay? And no matter which protective style you decide to use, just always, always make sure that the majority of your ends are tucked in. Okay? Remember, the ends are the oldest part of our hair. They're very fragile. 
they dry the fastest and when they break at, at the same time our roots grow out they're breaking okay if we're not taking care of them moisturizing and keeping them in the protected styles and that's why it seems as if black hair can't grow okay let's shatter that myth once and for all ladies and then let me keep going with the hair horror stories there was another shima girl who had this lady literally get in her face and ask her in anger why are you trying to grow your hair to waist length i mean really really ladies and, and this is coming again from our own kind our own kind our own color and that is what really saddens me and I know what really saddens you because I'm sure you're going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing or know someone who has gone through the same thing okay and sadly the reason why this is happening is because you know we have been conditioned year after year generation after generation to think that our hair can only grow to a certain length which is shoulder length okay and this is why it's, it's like seeing a unicorn when you see a black woman with hair down down to her waistline her behind I mean when it's literally that long it's like seeing a unicorn <laughs> It's like that. It is, it, they just can't handle it. They don't understand it. Okay, so um, it's unfortunate, but that's what's going on, Shiva girl. This is what's going on, and this is basically coming from uneducated um, women of color who are oblivious to the proper black hair growth practices that help us to get our hair that long. Okay, and, and what upsets me is that sometimes when you try to teach them, they still don't want to learn. You know. So again, ladies, this is what we got to keep moving forward and, you know, we got to try to ignore these haters as best we can, okay? And also, one more thing I would like to point out, Shima Girls, because this has happened to me in real life. I mean, have you ever gotten um, crap like this? Um, you, you, um, you have long hair, longer than shoulder length, and then there, there comes another woman of color who tells you something like, Oh, I, I used to have long hair, but I cut it off. And yet they can never produce a picture to show you that their hair really used to be as long as they claimed it was. You know, because I, I, again, I got in this line several times, trust me. Uh, and, and one more thing they do, they, they, they will say, oh, that they, they will say something like, I, I know someone in my family whose hair is as long as yours or whose hair was is longer than yours or, or was longer than yours and yet they, they can produce a picture of that person either to show us that that certain family's member hair was longer than your hair or as long as your hair okay haters come in different <laughs> shapes and sizes ladies <laughs> so unfortunately Shima girls if we truly truly want to make it in this life we must allow a lot of things to slide we have to and I mean a lot because remember misery loves company okay we have to develop some really tough skin here ladies we have to and basically at the end of the day we have to do what is best for us for us because ladies let me tell you something that's never gonna change haters are going to continue to hate no matter what Okay, because that is their job, to hate. Haters hate. And, and that is why they call haters, because they love to hate. For example, if you're driving a brand new car, they're going to hate on you. If you're driving an old beat up car, they're going to hate on you. If you lose a lot of weight, they're going to hate on you. If you gain a lot of weight, they're going to hate on you. Okay? If you got yourself a cute boyfriend, they're going to hate on you. If you got yourself an ugly boyfriend, they're going to hate on you. If you get yourself a promotion at your job, they're going to hate on you. If you get fired from your job, they're going to hate on you. I mean, the list goes on. Okay? The list goes on. Again, haters are going to hate because it is their job to hate. But don't let it be your job to feed into their hate. Okay? Don't let it be your job to feed into their hate, Shima girls. You just let them hate and you know, and you keep it moving. Always keep it moving. Do not give them any of your energy. 
Give your energy to God. Give your energy to your dreams. Give your energy to positive things that are going to give you positive results in your life. Okay? Well, that's it for this video, Shima Girls. If you have any hair hater experience of your own, feel free to share. Okay? And please take this advice, ladies. You know, keep it moving. Don't feed into that their negative energy. Don't give them any of your energy. Just keep it moving. You are going to make it. But you got to stay focused, Shima Girls. Always stay focused. Right? Take care. And see you ladies next time.